Welcome everyone in this short video tutorial on the self-assessment tool for foot and mouse disease. I am Etienne Chevan, a veterinary epidemiologist and I work in the EU FMD, the European Commission for the Control of Foot and Mouse Disease, based in FAO headquarters in Rome. This video was developed to help the veterinary services of FMD endemic countries to conduct a self-assessment of their activities before a roadmap meeting. Once this self-assessment done by the veterinary services and approved by the CVO, this self-assessment and its results will be discussed with the OIE FMD working group during a roadmap meeting. This self-assessment tool in its numeric format, namely Excel format, is refining the questionnaire, also called checklist, that was a paper questionnaire previously used in the roadmap meetings. This tool has been developed by Isler Laboratory in Italy with the technical input of Giancarlo Ferrari, Gregorio Torres, Andrea Vitali, among others. Now we will go step by step into this tool to give you instructions about how to navigate within this tool and how to retrieve those results or print the results. This tool is an Excel spreadsheet where there are some macros in it. So you must enable the macro for allowing the full use of the tool. This tool is divided into several sections. The first blue section is about information, where you will have introduction of the tool, instruction that are completing this current video and allowing you to navigate within this tool, the contact details of the ones filling this self-assessment tool and glossary and abbreviation to help the ones filling this tool to better understand the statements in those five components. So first, if we click on this introduction button, you will have a page that will appear automatically where you will have further information about the tool and the contact details of the FMD working group. If you want to go back to the main page, just click on back to start. Instruction completing this short video tutorial are here. Just scroll down to reach all the information. Again, if you want to go back to the main page, click on back to start. Contact details are needed for the person or the officers that are filling this tool on behalf of the veterinary services. This section is very important. If ever we have any feedback on the self-assessment, then we can reach the person in charge. Finally, glossary and abbreviation, as I said, you have some technical terms with some explanation provided. Sorry. Then let's go back to the main page and start the self-assessment itself. The first section you want to click is one current FMD strategy in place. In this page, you will have the choice between four options. It is worth noting that this self-assessment tool is for countries endemic of FMD in stage 0 to 3 of the PCP. First option is there is no control plan in place. Second option is there is a comprehensive plan, a risk assessment plan that has been approved. Second the third option is there is a risk-based strategic plan approved. 
And finally, fourth option is there is an official control program for FMD in place in the country. The answer that you will give to this very first component will then um, allow the macro of the Excel file to produce the outputs automatically. So this is a very important step. Let's say that you have a risk assessment plan in place and approved by the FMD working group in the country you are working on. You have here further information where we ask you, is the risk assessment plan accepted by the regional advisory group? And here your answer will be under the form of zero or one. One, sorry, one means yes, zero mean no or I don't know. This is very important to get that uh, answers are only under the format or zero or one. Again, one for yes, zero for no or I don't know. Just to make an example of it, I've answered yes to all the statements and I go to next. Then I have, sorry, here I have some the, I have the second component, which is livestock sector and stakeholders. I am automatically driven, driven to this component, but you can also go back to start and click directly on livestock sector and stakeholders. Here you have introduction of the component with the reference guidelines. You have several statements with further help here on the top right hand corner of each boxes. You see that those statements are divided into category. For this, we have stakeholder category or value chain analysis category. And what is requested from the veterinary services is to answer each of the 93 statements along this tool, either by one or zero. One is for yes, zero for I don't know, or no. What is interesting to note is that you have two other columns. One is explanation of the statements to provide further explanation on the formulation of those statements here. And you have references where you can go further in details about those statements. I won't go through all the PCP self-assessment tool, but basically you will have to answer each of those 93 statements. Do not forget to save from time to time your self-assessment. So you've understood the principle of the self-assessment tool, answer all the statements for those five components. And then when you achieve the completion of all those statements, some results will be automatically produced. Output one is a self-assessment summary. And, it, and it's providing very useful visuals that you can then copy paste into your reports. The actual stage in place is the PCP stage and these boxes are determined by the very first section when we asked what is the current FMD strategy in place. Then we have not completing all the self-assessment, of course, it's just a short video, but you can have like an idea of how many statements have been answered and how many statements are still missing out of the 93 statements. You have some visualization by PCP stage where you can easily see how many statements were completed and how many statements are pending. 
if you want to have the list of the statements corresponding to each of those three stages, you can scroll down this page. You can see that there are few statements corresponding to PCP stage one, a little bit more concerning PCP stage two, and even more concerning PCP stage three. Again, we use the same framework, component, category, statement, and your answer. Various outputs are produced. We can go to the second one where we have another visualization of the completed and pending activities broken by sector. Sorry, broken by component. So first component livestock sector, second surveillance and diagnosis, third one veterinary services, and the fourth one prevention control and evaluation. You have the number of pending activities, the number of completed one according to your answers, and the statement is here for the pending activities that appear in orange. Finally, the third out output can be reached by clicking on this button. And this output is about only the pending activities for each of the four components again. What's interesting in this visualization is that a priority is given to each statement. Each pending activity is given a priority for the countries to better organize the uh, future activities to address those pending ones. This is it for the three outputs of the tool. If you go to back to start, we have been through all those three outputs. The final part is a survey where we asked the participants to fill in the survey and give their feedback about the use of this self-assessment tool. Finally, you have a section which is print results where automatically all the answers of your self-assessment tool will be gathered within one document that is easily printable. This document will gather all the answer to the self-assessment tool. By using the printing section, you can see that it's already under printable format. Do not forget to save your self-assessment before sending it to the members of the FMD working group. This is it for the short presentation of the self-assessment tool. Do not forget that you can always reach those email address to have further information about this tool and how to fill, uh, fill in it. And also be aware that some PCP support officer are available in your region to help the veterinary authorities filling the self-assessment tool. Thank you very much and have a very nice day.